بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل کلکولس اینڈ میتھمیٹکس لرننگ ان ٹوڈے ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو سالو سم آف دا کوشچنز ریلیٹڈ ود دا لائن انٹیگرل لائن انٹیگرل از ون آف دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک ان بی ایس سی کلکولس سو لیٹس موو ٹوورڈ اے کوشچن نمبر 13 اپ ایکسرسائز نمبر 16.2 تھامس ایڈیسن 12th ایڈیشن کلکولس چیپٹر نمبر 16 اٹس نیم از انٹیگریشن ان ویکٹر فیلڈ سو over here the in question we are given with the line integral with respect to x y z so question number 13 tells that find the integral the c represent caro so find the integral of the caro x minus y into dx where x is equal to t y is equal to 2t plus 1 per 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 3 this is the condition so by putting the values over here it become 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 3 means that uh, this t lies in between this interval 0 and 3. So it means the lower limit of this integral will be 0 and the upper limit will be 3. And over here we have x, so our x is t given, so it becomes t minus time of y, y is 2t plus 1. After this we need the value of dx, so differentiate this function with respect to x, it becomes dx is equal to dt. So differentiation of this function x is equal to t gives us dx dt. So by putting dx dt over it becomes dt. So after this it becomes integral from 0 to 3. It becomes t minus 2t minus 1 into dt. So it becomes integral from 0 to 3. t minus 2t will give us negative t and it becomes minus 1 into dt. So t minus 2t gives us minus t and minus 1. Now integrate this function so the integral of minus t is minus t power 2 divided by 2 and over the integral of negative 1 is a minus a t and apply the integral from a upper limit 3 to lower limit 0 so first putting the upper limit 3 so by putting 3 it become minus 3 square will give us 9 by 2 by putting 3 over it become minus 3 after this put negative sign and put 0 over here in this expression it becomes 0 square by 2 minus a 0 so it gives us 0 and it becomes minus 9 by 2 minus 3 so multiply and divide over here with a 2 so it become minus 9 by 2 and it become 6 divided by 2 now the LCM is 2 so in numerator we left with minus 9 and minus 6 so it will go just minus 15 divided by 2 so this is actually the required and desired answer now solving question number 17 related with the line integral it tells that elan caro r of t is equal to ti minus j plus t square k while 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 evaluate each integral so there are total three part in this question number 17 now over here the coefficient of i is t this is actually represent elan x x is that's why we will take x is equal to t over here so it become x is equal to t and over here the coefficient of j is negative 1 which is actually along y x axis so we will take y is equal to negative 1 over here and after this the coefficient of k is t square which is along x x z axis so we will take z is equal to t square so it becomes minus of t square now over here our x is actually equal to t so differentiation of this will be actually dx is equal to dt so putting dx dt over here now our uh, limit is actually from 0 to 1 t is lie in between 0 and 1 so we will take 0 as a lower limit and 1 as a upper limit now the uh, integrator so it become t square by 2 integration of minus 1 is minus t its integration will be minus t power 3 divided by 3 and applying the limit from 1 0 to 1 so the integration of t is t square by 2 minus t minus t power 3 by 3 now putting 1 over here it become 1 by 2 it become minus 1 and it become minus 1 by 3 and by putting 0 it will give us a 0 so now over here I take the LCM 6 so, so it become 3 it become minus 6 and it become minus 2 so 3 minus 2 gives us 1 1 minus 6 will give us a minus pi by 6 so the required and desired answer is minus pi by 6 so now solving part number b over here we have same x plus y minus z just like in this part so putting x t so t y is minus 1 and z is minus a t square but over here we have dy not dx so our y is actually from over here y is a negative 1 y is actually negative 1 so the differentiation obvious will be dy by dt will be actually 0 so over here we put 0 and the limit is actually from 0 to 1 so over here 0 into this will give us 0 so it become integral from 0 to 1 will give us 0 and uh, integration of 0 is actually a constant so it means that uh, the whole result to this integral is uh, just uh, 0 now move to the part number c by putting the same value so x is t y is minus 1 and z is minus a t square now over here our z is actually t square z is a t square from over here uh, this is minus z so minus z will be t square so our minus z will be t square so it becomes z will be equal to negative t square so our dz by dt will be minus 2t 
so it becomes dz is equal to minus 2t dt so by putting the dz is equal to minus 2t dt and applying the limit from 0 to 1 so t into minus 2t will give us minus 2t square and it becomes plus 2t and it becomes plus 2t power 3 and whole dt from 0 to 1 so it becomes minus 2t power 3 by 3 plus o it become t square and it become 2t power uh, 4 divided by 4 and apply the limit from 0 to 1. So by putting 1 it become minus 2 by 3 plus 1 and plus 2 by 4 and by putting 0 it will give us 0. Now taking LCM 12 so it become 4 into 2 minus 8 and uh, it become plus 12 and it become 6. So 18 minus 8 it will give us 10 by 12 and 10 by 12 will give us 5 divided by 6 so this is the required and desired answer now solving question number 19 related to the same exercise chapter number 16 integration in vector field it tells that find the work done by f force over the curve in the direction of increasing t so 19 question 20 question 21 22 these four questions these are same related with the work done so it tells that a, uh, a force is, is equal to x y i plus y j minus y z k while r of t is actually equal to t i plus t square j plus t k and the interval is 0 to 1 so find out work done so move to the solution taking the derivative of this function it becomes dr by dt will be ti derivative is i t square derivative is 2tj and its derivative will be just k now after this we have the formula for the work done so we will take the interval from 0 to 1 integral of f of dot dr by dt into whole dt now our given function is in term of variable x y z not in term of t so over here the coefficient of i is t it means that our x is equal to t over the coefficient of j is t square it means our y is equal to t square and over here the coefficient of k is t it means that our z is equal to t so x is t y is t square and z is t now put in this function so it become a force is equal to x y so x multiply y gives us t into t square gives us t power 3 i plus y j so our y is t square become t square j and minus y z so y is t square and z is t it become minus t q k this is actually our function now by putting the value we will get the required work done so from 0 to 1 our f is t cube i t cube i plus t square j minus t cube k and over here we have dot product with our dr by dt dr by dt is actually i plus 2tj i plus 2t j and plus k now over here we have dot product it means that we will multiply the same component the coefficient of i over here is 1 and over here the coefficient of i is t cube so it multiply with each other it become t cube and plus t square j coefficient t square over here we have 2t so 2t multiply t square will give us 2t cube and minus t cube into over here we have 1 so it becomes just a minus a t cube and whole dt from lower limit 0 to 1 now simplify over here it become from 0 to 1 t cube plus 2 t cube over here t cube can start with negative 2 cube we left with 2 t cube so t will write outside inside we left with t cube dt now by simply we can become 2 t power 3 the integration is t power 4 divided by 4 and uh, applying the limit from 0 to 1 so it become 2 by 4 gives us 1 by 2 and apply the limit on t so put 4 over here it become 1 power 4 minus put 0 over here it become 0 power 4 so it become 1 1 into 1 over 2 will give us 1 by 2 so this is actually the required work done